Welcome to a look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 11th of March and we have new mods. There have been some updates and I didn't do a mod review yesterday. This vehicle in front of me is the mod from yesterday. We're going to have a look at that first. But before we do that, some updates. Um, we have had updates to Seasons Geo Alabama, Seasons Geo Maine, Seasons Geo Vermont, all by Adub Modding, Seasons USA, um, uh, simplified by Top Ace 888. We've had an update to the Flegel TPW Bale Trailer Set. Um, this is by Top Ace 888, and this is an important update. This one, well, they're all important, but this one says change log 1.2.0.0. Added auto load for the HD bales from the Galignani 5690S3 baler from the Mod Hub. That's the baler, the mini baler. So in that pack of trailers, which have got a whole load of auto load trailers that do Heston bales and cotton bales and the rest of it, they've now put one in there that will pick up the mini bales. So an auto load baler for the mini bales. Baler bale trailer for the mini bales I think that's rather important. Um, there's been an update to the Ponds Bear by North Modding Company. Um, as far as mods for today goes, there's been a, a new Seasons Geo Southern Alberta by KG Kong, uh, and then we move on to the mods themselves. First up, as like I say, this is the one from yesterday. This is the new Holland T7AC series. This is by STV Modding. Um, there are a few different options available on here, as you can see. Slightly different look to this, with some gold on there, spotlights across the top. Now... This does have air horns on it, however, I think that's only a PC thing, because I've just tried the horns, and it hasn't made a difference, it still does a bit of a peep peep thing. So, we'll have a look at it, nicely detailed mod, we've got a couple of T7 um, mods knocking about at the moment, I think, haven't we? STV Modding's put out quite a few different tractor um, mods recently, and very, very nicely detailed, lots of good gear going on. That seems to have a kind of gold tinge around the edge of that. Anyway, you'll find this uh, under... I think this was under... The other ones are on large tractors, I think. Yeah, the T7 comes under large tractors, but I'm pretty sure this was under medium tractors. So if you've installed it and can't find it, that could be why. Because um, it's popped up in here. There we go, the T7 series just there. Uh, this will set you back 50 slots though. If you're on console it's fairly high on the slot count. Um, options available. Uh, we can change the rim colour to all sorts of various different things. Entirely up to you. I do like that kind of silvery grey that kind of goes with the nice the, the blue power um, look. We can change the main colour. We can have blue matte which is the blue power colour. Uh, we can go for the fear agri kind of rust red we can go with a black, we can go with a black metalled, and then we can go with gold. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, we'll go back to, we'll get to black metal, doesn't matter. Um, under, now this is one of those ones where it bounces me back around. Design colour, you can have black, you can have chrome, and this changes the front grills and the um, pipe cover, the exhaust cover. Or we can have gold. Gold in there, look. With the black, that looks really nice. It actually looks pretty good with the, the blue as well, to be honest, the gold with the blue. It reminds me of the old Subaru Impressors. Um, anyway, yes, regardless. So, configuration. We can have standard on the front three-point link hitch, like so. We can have it with 600 kilogram weight. We can have it with 850 kilogram weight, which does put that line up there so you can see the front where it is, so you don't crash into things. Um, and then back to standard. Tire options, we can have trailer bulgs, which we've got on, hang on, trailer bulgs, which we've got on now. We can have that standard, wide, wide and weights. Actually, no. Let's go back. That standard, it says wides, but then when you go there, it doesn't say, it just says wheel weights. So it goes back to the standard tire, but with weights, because it gets smaller, doesn't it? Look. Yeah. Um, we can have, I'm back to standard again. There we go. Uh, we can have on Michelin's, standard, wide wide tyres and weights back to standard mitres standard wide wide and weights back to standard and back to trailer bulgs again uh, design we can go with the blue power which gives you the blue power 
changes the new Holland logo so where the yellow is underneath like so it goes to the kind of silvery and it also puts blue power up on the back there on the top of the cab that's your blue power version uh, then we go to design standard with trumpets <laughs> with extra lights on the front extra lights and trumpets so this is the new Holland T7 trumpet edition especially if you go all gold nice or back to nothing engine setup we have T7 220 at 218 horsepower 235 at 234 horsepower 250 at 250 horsepower the 260 at 260 horsepower the 270 at 269 the 310 at 310 I'm pretty sure you get a T7315, don't you? Which is 313 horsepower. So this stops at 310. It doesn't go any higher than that. And those are your options available. What does it sound like? Well, fairly quiet until you rev it up and get going. Horn. Now, if I keep my finger on that, so R1 and keep my finger on X, because someone stole it, you've got to keep your finger on it. It does an air horn sound. I think that might just be for PC, if that is, because it's weird to have the trumpets on there, but it hasn't given me an option. If I open up my options menu on my side panel, like so, um, there is no option for air horns or anything on there. Just the regular honk honk. Anyway, we can open, let's go around there a little bit. We can open the rear window, let's go like that. So you can see the handle moving there, like so like that and then the handle closes or we can go up and down on the right stick and open and close the door in cab nice and neat and tidy cycle throw lights cool let's close that off beacons off so those spotlights in the front like that nice It's quiet when we first get going. It takes a little while for the sound to pick up, so... That's a nice looking tractor. Nice mod, with a few optional extras on there. That's by STV Modding. So, the first of the mods we're going to look at from, from today's mods we have got the Joskin Modulo 16,000 Basic. Now we've got Modulo 2, we get standard in-game, there are a few modded versions of this knocking about as well. The standard in-game one has the uh, drip hose, drag hose thing uh, on the side of it. This one is the Basic because it doesn't have that, this is just a slurry spreader. Just under 16,000 litre capacity. Nice tidy mod, this is by Camelos0397. I will grab the other tractor in just a second just to uh, see it in operation. It's a little bit cheaper than the standard version for that very reason. If we go across and we go to slurry tanks. So the standard one we get in game is that one there, the Modulo 2 at 62,500. 150 horsepower spreads at 12 metres. And as I mean, it's got the uh, drag hose bits around the back of it. So this is the, the basic version that doesn't have all of that. So if we keep going... There we go, 50,500, so it's cheaper because you don't have all that. Capacity is the same, I think, 15,780. Although this says it requires 180 horsepower. This will spread at 14.8 metres. Options available, we can change the wheel setup from standard to wide flotation type tyres. Those are your options available. So, turn it on. And away we go. He says, and where we go. If I put cruise control on, it would be. And there you go. It does exactly what it should do. It spreads manure, uh, slurry, or digestates as we go. So that's Joskin Modulo 16,000 Basic by Camelos 0397. Moving on. We have got this. This is the Veen Huis. Um, VSW 2040 by DMI 20mm Normandy. Now, 
this isn't showing up on the Farming Simulator website as a new mod, but it was in the Mod Hub. And I think this is a new mod, not an update, because it didn't have a changelog thing in there. It didn't say there was an update, doesn't say normally you get changelog and it says what the update has been. There wasn't. Now this has been his super silage wagon, but I have got wheat in this, because um, um, initial panic was when I got it, hang on a minute, is this just a forage wagon, silage wagon? But it's not another nice tidy mod. I think this is a 40,000 litre capacity, this one as well. Um, this you'll find under trailers. There we go, the Venus VSW 2040, 18,000 to buy for a 40,000 litre capacity. That is cheap as chips. That's a brilliant price. And if you look down the bottom, it says all those different crop types it will take, and lime and pig food and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so the fact it does say on the side of it, super silage wagon, don't be put off. I did try to put something else in there just in case there was a mistake. We can change the rim colour from yellow to grey, to red, to white. We can have Trelleborgs on standard or wide. Or we can have Michelin standard or wide. And back to Trelleborg again. So just those two tyre options available. Opening animation is like so. I say I have got wheat in there just to show that it does take other things, not just forage or whatever. But uh, there we go. Turn that off. Nice mod. I like the fact that's 40,000 litres for 18 grand. That's, that's a nice, cheap option for a trailer. I don't think it has got a rear trailer hitch. No, it doesn't, so you can't daisy chain these, but you could put it on behind something else, like a Flegel Bull or something like that, maybe. Uh, very nice indeed. That's by DMI 20mm Normandy. Moving on to the pack we have for today. We've got the Man 33414 6x6 pack by Black Sheep Modding. I know this and other vehicles like this from Black Sheep Modding have been eagerly anticipated because of this. The three-point link on the front, which we got on the Griffins recently from uh, North Modding Company, but it was Black Sheep Modding on FS17, I think. I don't, I don't know if they did it on 15, but on 17 definitely we had these from Black Sheep Modding. Bit of a game changer, this, the three-point link on the front, and I know we've got a few different mods that do this. Now, this pack has got a whole load of stuff in it. Not least of all, a nice cheap truck, lorry, cab, which is very nice. Fifth wheel attached on the back, so this will take any trailer on the back of that using the fifth wheel but it also comes with a load of attachments on the back including this we'll talk about that in just a second um, so nice neat tidy mod on the truck it's not a hook lift or anything like that and this will hook up with the fifth wheel still attached so you don't have to worry about that either um, this you will find under trucks cheapest chips as well 99 grand that's not bad 414 horsepower um, options available we can change the main color to any of those you want to go with like so we can change the design color which does the stripe so if you don't want a stripe at all just get the same color as you've gone with the main color and you can take that away completely or you can have a contrasting stripe if you want to go with a contrasting stripe that's up to you will brand we've got Trelleborg and this is the one I love look at that that's knobbly bobbly that one I like it a lot um standard or wides on the trailer balls we can have lizards which go standard moist road lorry tires knock-ins like so and then back to the trailer balls again and then on the front we can have a bull bar no model one which is black same as the chassis or a kind of chromed one on model two and then back to no so whichever you'd like on that then we can have the front 3.0 inch, no, oh yes, which only adds a grand, only adds a grand on. So we have a whole load of changes on there, running up to 105,000. If I go back up and change these to the knobblies, 107, that's brilliant. This has got like air horns on the top as well, spotlights across the top. It's an older looking truck, as you might expect, and those are your options. 55 mile an hour top speed. So let's jump in it. Sounds great. Lights, rear, work lights, off, beacons, 
on the top. Now, if I do unfold, so L1 and X, our door opens automatically, so you haven't got to worry about pulling joysticks around and like that. So L1 and X folds and unfolds the lorry, like so. I like it. Horn. Very cool. Now the one I've got over there, I've got with the chrome front, but also with the three-point link. What we're going to do now is have a look at the backs that are available. Now the easiest way to find these, I found personally, this is just me, um, and I do this quite often, is to go into the manufacturer name, because on this one we have got a log container, uh, we've got um, a trailer, which is just there, um, we've got a bale trailer, we've got um, a bale container, we've got salt support, which is this here, and then we've got a tipper, which is like the skip here. And obviously these are all in various different categories, but if we go into our menu, like so, go across and we go to manufacturers, to man, scroll across, we get all of the different backs. So the bale container, which is an over cab one, so a little bit like the one we got the other day. Um, 7,000 for that. Options available. We can change the main colour, which is kind of the chassis part, like so. And then we can change the design colour, which is the top part. So you can go with any configuration you want to fit whatever vehicle you're going for. These are only three slots each. The bale container, which has got straps. They've all got straps, but this is just for bales that goes in the back. 6,000. Again, same options. We can change the chassis bit and the main bulk. Then we've got the wood container for 7,000. Also three slots. Does exactly the same. Skip. 7,500. 20,000 litre capacity. Not bad at all for 7,500. Um, then we've got the trailer sections. This is a trailer that goes in the back of that, which also has a hook on the back. Uh, TR414 at 24,000. That will set you back 11 slots for the trailer. And then we've got the salt back, the TRTS215. Um, this is designed to go with the Hauer pack, not specifically, but it will go with the Hauer pack. It's got straps on the back, so you can put salt pallets and stuff on there as well. Um, that is nine slots for that. There are no options to change the colour, because it's supposed to be like that, and it has a three-point link on the back, like so, with those big flashing lights as well, to warn oncoming traffic that you are spreading salt. So, here they are in the real world. That's the bale back, like I say, they've all got straps. The skip back, 20,000 litre. The log one, we're going to have a look at that in a second. The trailer, oh it doesn't have hitch on the back of that, sorry. I apologise, I thought I had a hook on the back of that one as well. Um, that's the over cab bale trailer, I like that, that's nice. That's not an auto load though. The other one we've got in game is an auto load, that's not, you have to load that one yourself. But it does have straps, I think it has straps at the top as well, doesn't it? Or maybe not. Ooh. Um, and then we've got this. And obviously linked in with the three-point link on the front here, you can put the plough on. Now this is where I've got a bit of a problem. The Mod Hub says I've got the Hauer Snowpack installed. And the Hauer Snowpack pack is supposed to be this and the Salt Spreader. However, I can't find it anywhere. Um, I've been through the entire Mod Hub and I can't find the Salt Spreader because what you're supposed to do is hook the plough on the front have all your salt containers on the back here strapped on and the three point link on the back here you put your salt spreader which as you run along spreads the salt behind you as you go I can't find it to hook it up now that might be it only appears if you've got seasons on maybe I don't know it seems a bit peculiar but I can't find it so that's what you're supposed to do with that it kind of goes in the back so let's hook a few of these things up and have a look shall we it's a fantastic little pack cool stuff I do like it I love those, those the knobbly tyres, I think are great. Fits on there fantastically. Oh, it's got straps across the roof. Ooh, I just hadn't gone far enough over. That's handy. Straps across the roof. We hook up to the trailer behind, like so. So you can use that as a trailer hook for anything. It doesn't have to be this particular trailer, but it will hook up to this one. And if we go back to the log one, I'm doing the log one specifically for a very good reason. So hook up to that. So I could do bales and logs at the same time if I want to, don't have to. I could do logs and logs, because these backs are all interchangeable. They will go onto the truck itself or the trailer. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be anything specific. 
Now, if I open up this menu here, unfold container, a tipping log trailer, very nice indeed, that makes life a lot easier. Wherever you're tipping, whether it be onto the ground, into a cell point, whatever you might want to do. A tipping log trailer, very nice indeed. So like I say, the other back still will hook up the same. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Because I think this looks great, all hooked up. And the great thing is as well with this, you can open the door and you can get out and the door stays open. So we come to that. We come to that. And away we go. Let's say pallets in the back of that. Strap them down with all your salt. This is what I like as well. Look at this. Let's swing this around so it's a bit better. Not that it matters. They're designed to be seen in whatever weather conditions. Look at that. <laughs> That's fantastic. You're not going to miss that coming, are you? This is a brilliant pack. More quality gear from Black Sheep Modding, as we've come to expect over time. There we go. So that's it, that's the MAN 334146x6 pack. You can transport bales, bulk material, logs and much more. Turn the bale beacons off. And that's it from me for today. There are a couple of maps out today. I'm going to have a look at those separately and do a couple of map tours, I would imagine. Um, hope to see you there. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form, if you have. Give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.